Most people involved in primary care in Wales know that the mental health measure is a new piece of legislation. Well, I've been finding out what the measure says and what it means for GPs and their staff. The mental health measure has a number of components, so it's dealing with people who need to be in hospital, it's dealing with people who need to be under the care of a consultant psychiatrist, it's dealing with people who need the support of the wider community mental health team. But the most important aspect for me as a GP is when I see people who clearly do have mental health difficulties, who are having life difficulties, it helps me to provide them with support very quickly First of all, in terms of an accurate and detailed assessment. And then secondly, a range of resources that they can call on to help them get better quickly. For many years now, uh, most people with mental health problems have been treated by their GPs in primary care. But there's only so much that primary care can provide. For people with increased complexity and more severe mental health problems, we've needed the help of secondary care. Um, secondary care can't see everyone and there's been a number of people in between what primary care can provide and what secondary care are willing to see and these people have been left really in limbo without effective mental health services. In primary care we manage large numbers of people and patients with what we now refer to as common mental health problems which really uh, in brief covers up that large group of people who suffer with various degrees of depression, anxiety symptoms, which are usually part of the same scenario. The problem is that it's been quite frustrating knowing that um, you need services, you need counselling, you need psychotherapy um, and not being able to access it. Um, you have to refer these people on to secondary care. Secondary care, if they see them at all, which is difficult, um, may disagree that this is what they need. Um, and you get people on this cycle of um, being have their needs unmet by primary or secondary care. Um, and it's very frustrating because we can see what needs to be done, but we can't do much about it. Um, and that's when, I suppose, we get accused sometimes of over-prescribing drugs. The mental health measure sets out to improve this situation. Well, for the need to ask Clavian, board now vested now with Gertau, our board now was an ethai now with an agaminet, a drosclido, a gosanath yachid medal, an agaminet, and Cheborain of Indira Spati Agaros, um, Uthnos, or Snat Misoid, he weld Arbenigur. Um, what's in it for patients is that it is a service much more locally, somewhere where it's not at all scary to go to. So people are very used to going to their GP to get. Um, medical um, advice and support, as well as other advice and support, and this is an extra service. Mae'r mesur yn sicrhau gwasanaeth i bobl y bob oedran yn cynnwys pobl ifanc a pobl mewn hen oedran. So it will be a major change in how we work in the sense that we can actually say to patients, um, yes, we have got something more to offer you than my time and a prescription for antidepressants, even though that may be perf is often perfectly appropriate and very effective. Uh, but it's something more. What's new about it is that it's national, so this isn't a postcode lottery. Every, this will be accessible to everybody wherever you live in Wales. So the measure aims to boost the provision of mental health services available through primary care across Wales. These services are going to be more local, more timely and for everyone. But what is this going to mean for GPs? What it means for GPs is that there's going to be a new service um, offering earlier intervention and additional um, person power within the practice locally. Every practice will have access to somebody who they know who has had a lot of training, so that's going to be new. Secondly, wherever possible, that service will be provided in the GP surgery. So Myself, I work in GP surgeries in Barry in the Vale of Glamorgan, and we go into surgeries, the GPs refer patients, um, we see them then for a mental health assessment, a comprehensive mental health assessment, and then together in partnership with the service user we decide you know, what the options are. What the primary care mental health team member will be able to describe is the range of um, psychological therapies, brief psychological therapies that the team have got to offer. GPs often struggle to provide anything for the patients other than you know, medication, 
they haven't got the time to engage in other things and look around for, you know, what's available. So that's where we come in. Well, man, gweithio yn dda iawn pan man da chi weithiwr unigol yn gysylltiedig efo practices chi. Man na berthynas agos rhwng y meddygon a'r nyrsys ac wrth gwrs y cleifion a'r gweithiwr iechyd meddwl na. Ond wrth gwrs, nid dyna'r byd fel mae yr un o bryd, man na rhai practices a ddim gweithiwr iechyd meddwl o gwbl. Felly os a ddim darpariaeth o gwbl. So, felly ar ddiwedd y dydd, sy'n ni'n gobeithio fydd y mesur iechyd meddwl yma yn wneud yn siŵr bod na ddarpariaeth gyda phob practis yng Nghymru. Everybody from the GPs to the um, nurse practitioners to the practice nurses we can deliver training to. Um, people like the receptionists who are at the front line for staff, uh, for patients coming in through the door every day. You know, we can train them on common mental health issues and help them understand why people present in the way they do and what difficulties they might be having. The vision is that it supports and not supplants GPs. Um, so GPs will continue seeing the majority of patients themselves and will continue um, managing most of those patients. What patients say, and their doctors, is that there's a need to bridge the gap between primary and secondary care. The provision of additional mental health services via primary care put in place by the measure is one step towards that goal. I think that there is a genuine intention to change the way the services are delivered and the measure does set out in legislation that this has to be done. Um, so I think I would say to people that there is a new service that is going to be put into, implemented um, fairly soon um, that will deliver proper services for these people. It isn't a panacea for all ills but it does mean we will have something that we can offer patients more than our time and a prescription at the end of the day. Um, and I think if any GPs are concerned about mental health services in their areas, if any GPs are struggling to get good quality mental health services, now is the time where they put their hand up, um, find your local mental health uh, manager and you know, volunteer yourselves to get some time in there and go and shout, go and rant and rave at them and get these services developed to the way we need them to be developed for the good of our patients. So what does the future hold for GPs and their patients in Wales? Gyda'r mesur yn y dyfodol, mae'n golygu bydd yr unigolyn yn gallu cael gafel ar triniaeth iechyd meddwl yn meddygfa yn gryflymach i atal y problem gwathygu. A mae hynny'n peth da iawn. Well, I would expect that as the measure beds in, we won't have people becoming patients with conditions because when the GP sees somebody who's having a hard time, who's having lots of symptoms, they can make a referral to the primary mental health worker, they'll have an assessment, they'll be given support, they'll be given a way out of their current situation, and therefore as a result they won't need tablets, they won't need a diagnostic label, and that will benefit not just them, but it'll benefit their families. I think that all of us need to understand what the measure is about, um, and it is about taking very seriously the fact that at least one in four of us throughout our lives are going to have um, a mental illness or uh, a mental health problem that requires some professional attention. So it's self-interest as much as anything else. Um, finding out about it, not necessarily in reading some of the language of the measure is is written by constitutional lawyers and so it's not particularly helpful but there are a number of organizations and they include people like Mind Cymru, Haval who've produced very readable summaries that help in particular service users um, people on the receiving end of services understand what the measure is about so that they're in a position to make different kind of demands about what's available. But similarly, I think if general practitioners can better understand the intentions behind the measure, they're more likely to understand how they could take advantage, how they could take advantage of it for the advantage of their patients. Mm -hmm.